Never ever do this. Don't take a tiny piece of wood, and especially metal, and drill into it handheld with a large drill bit because, wow, it'll get away from you. And you've got a spinning blade. I have a couple of these quick release vertical toggles, and I want to show you what can be done with them. All you need is the vertical toggle, and I attached it to a small piece of wood with four little bolts and nuts. I took a 3 8 inch nut, a bolt, excuse me, and then a brass insert that threaded on both sides. You can get those at Ace Hardware and a 3 8 inch washer. Now taking these, what I'm planning to do is attach it to the wooden surface that I made for my drill press. If I put it in the right place, you can see I can pivot and reach most of the drilling area that I'm interested in. I'm going to mark it right here. And then I'm going to take and drill a hole right through there. I'm going through the back side now with a tiny drill bit just to punch a hole out on the top side so I'll know where to drill. Now I'm taking a Forstner bit and 3 8 inch. I'm coming through and I'm going to drill right into a 2 by 4 I'll clear the chips here. And then I'm coming down into the 2 by 4 so it won't blow out on the back side. Now when I take a look, you'll see... It's just as clean on the back side as the front. Let's take it over to the workbench, and I'm going to clap it down with these hold fast. Just one good tap, and that thing isn't going anywhere. I'll double check to see if it's there tight, and it is. Now, this little brass insert, it's threaded on the inside and outside, and it's made so you can take a screwdriver and drive it in, but this isn't the way to go. It wobbles, it's hard to get in. Here's a little tool I made. It's just a bolt, 3 8 inch bolt, with a nut on it. Cut off the head, and I filed away some of the threads so I can put it in my drill driver. I see the top of my threaded sleeve here, and I screw it in on the bolt right up to the nut. Then I'll go over and put it into my drill driver. What's nice about this is you have to power, and if you have a good hold down pressure, it isn't going to jump around at all. It's going to go directly in. So you can see, I line it up, get it as vertical as possible, hold it down tight, squeeze a little bit, a little bit, and go all the way in. Now to get it out, what I do is I break it loose, break the chuck loose, and then after it's loose, I'll reach for just an, uh, an adjustable wrench, and if I take that nut and just touch it a little bit, snap, it's loose, and then I can just hand pull it out. Now, you can see my bolt fits right into this threaded sleeve. It isn't going to go anywhere. Now, to assemble this whole thing, I'll take my washer, I take my bolt, I put it through the hole in the wood, and go down into the threaded sleeve. After that's done, I leave it slightly loose, so I can move it around still and get it where I want it. Later on, I might make a handle for that nut so I don't need the wrench, but you can see I can snap it in. I'll tighten right here. That's a good spot. And after I have tightened it in, I'll snap it down. And you can see it's good and tight. Any movement you see is on the piece of wood that isn't going to go anywhere because it's going to be down pressure and the piece of wood we're drilling isn't going to come up. Now, if I want, I can loosen this and I can take a tiny piece of wood. I can adjust it and snap it down. Okay, I didn't tighten the nut that time, but I don't know if that'll make a lot of difference. Do you see that gap? The wood is so small it's teeter-tottering up, so I'll grab another quick release. Luckily, I have two, and I think I'm going to put another threaded sleeve over here so I can double snap it down on little pieces of material. And there's a little gap there, but remember, I haven't put the threaded sleeve in yet. After I'm done, I can kind of pivot this around. And if I need to, notice there's an adjustable nut here and here. And I can make that hold down come closer for a thin piece, or I can back it off for a thicker piece of wood. So it's adjustable. Now. I hope you try and make one of these.
There it is. Everything's held down by that little sleeve. Good luck.